Name one thing from Bulgaria. Jar cherries? That's right. So I have three jars, 670 grams each, 50% cherries. They were just sitting next to the blueberries that I bought and hopefully you watched my blueberry video and hopefully I made a blueberry video and it didn't screw up. They're actually brewing right now. I did it yesterday. I'm making wine out of these cherries that are in a jar. I've got three jars of them. I've got one and a half cups of white sugar. That's an arbitrary number. I just had that much sugar left. This water is st still kind of hot, but I've boiled it. And I've got a masher just in case these cherries aren't very mashy already. Yeah. People in Bulgaria are really strong, so it doesn't matter how tight they put their jar lids on. Let me just try one. See how mushy it is. It's actually really good. Oh my god. Those people in Bulgaria really know how to jar a cherry. They're pretty soft though. They're pretty sloppy. Flavor's good. I'm gonna put the sugar in so that pouring things in helps to mix it. Oh, look at that. Look at that cherry sugar. I, I invented that cherry sugar. You didn't invent that. Do they still make jolly? What are you trying to say? Do they still make jolly ranches? Man, that was a long time ago. Do they still make those? Jolly ranches. Anyway, I'm just gonna, you know I'm gonna eat that sugar, cherry sugar later. Put that in, swish that around. Swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it, swish it. Mmm. I'm gonna add the hot water first. That's crazy. It's not that hot. I can touch it like this. How much uh, hot water was that, you ask? It was max 1.5 liters. Man, Bulgaria. No wonder they're so strong. Are they? Probably. You know those countries that do really well in like weightlifting at the Olympics for some reason? Like you've never heard of these people, but they've got these really strong men in tights. I don't know if Bulgaria does that. I'm just assuming because of these damn cherry jars. Lucky I'm also really strong. And under this, I'm wearing tights. So, doing the math, if these are 50% cherry in volume, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of water, that's about a kilo of cherries in there. One and a half liters of water plus another liter of water that had sugar in it. Does, that, does any of that make sense? I think I will, I think I'll add a little bit more water. Just want to feel that, just want to feel that. I'll go get some. Oh, I'm back. This is another approximately 1.2, 1.3 liters. Will I add it all? Will I add it all? Yeah, that's enough. I want to get a taste of my Bulgarian cherries. Cooking yeast to make bread, that's all I have. That's all I have at the moment. Yeah, that, that's not too hot at all. It's fine. Put some of that in. There we go. Put the lid on. This is actually the wrong lid. I think I mix it up with the one that's on the blueberry, which is perfect because it can't seal, see? It won't let any air in, and the carbon dioxide will just, it'll be like a, a natural lock. Just trying to mix that a bit. Great. I was going to put the cherries into a bag and let them ferment so I could take it out and actually pour something cleanly for a change, but then I thought, how am I going to strain the blueberries if I do that? Whatever. Put this somewhere to ferment. Bulgarian style. Or any style. I actually don't know Bulgarian style. Let's just do that. Okay, this is day two. It's uh, very foamy. Quite bubbly. Can you see the bubbles? Maybe. All the cherries are floating. Everything's going according to plan. Alright, last night this was bubbling ever so slowly and then today it seems to have completely stopped. Although it is very late at night, so maybe it stopped sometime today. I've filled some of these bottles with about this much sugar. That's a small teaspoon and then a less than half of that. Just because I want it to be ever so slightly bubbly, I like that. Alright, I am wearing boxer shorts. Maybe I'll put on some pants. Okay, now I'm wearing pants. Or what the English might call trousers. That is what we might call them. Very sensible indeed. Alright, now, how am I going to do this? Probably poorly. What about like that? What about like that, he said, like a freaking genius. Lots of cherries floating on top. 
Lots of cherries going in, a little bit of splash. Look at that, like milking a horse. I was just listening to that, um, what's it called, Dan Cullen, Wrath of Khans. I'll listen to it once or twice already, I really like it. Might empty out these ones and put those ones in and then squeeze those ones. Alright, I'm going to squish these lids down with my little machine and I'm going to put these someplace to just chill for a couple of weeks or until I get some time to drink them. It's a good idea. It's been months. This has been in the fridge since December. It's now late March. The world has pretty much come to an end. I'm in an echoey room. You can probably hear my family out there. I usually do this when they're away. But it's Saturday. Lunchtime. This was meant to be bubbly. Cherry wine. As you know, I accidentally opened this. And I wasn't happy with the video. Sorry about the echo, by the way. All right. Here we go. It fermented for about, I don't know, six days. That color, sort of cherry color, I'd say. Smells pretty gross. Kind of like beer. I like beer. Beer with cherry in it. Cherry beer. It tastes fine. It tastes very sour. It tastes like sour beer, really. With an aftertaste of cherry. I mean, it's okay. What would make it better? Probably some ice cubes. That's pretty much my solution to anything that it doesn't taste that great. What about ice cubes? It would be good in a cocktail. How would I make this into a decent cocktail? I'm not a cocktail wizard. What kind of wizard are you? It is kind of bubbly. It didn't go pssst when I opened it, but you can see the bubbles coming up. Sorry about the echo. Sorry about the echo. Sorry about the I was really disappointed when I opened this expecting blueberry wine, but the more I drink it here today by myself in this echoey room, the more I enjoy it, because the, the taste of cherries is coming up. Cherry battle! So I, so I have to, who is it? That's my son. Pa, poopa, poopa. The more you drink of this, the better it gets. Oh, I thought you were a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna get another bottle, because... Do 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 Yeah, Buzz. Wow, that's a pretty cool monster truck. The boy loves monster trucks. I want to take him to see monster trucks, but the world is freaking ending right now. Do 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 do. Somebody. He's ideating Sean. Oh no. She's a busy woman. She said it's bitter. I said cool. Yeah, bitter. She said cool. I think she likes it. No. Is alright? How cool. Look at the camera. How cool, how cool. How cool, fair time cool for you. All right, all right, all right. That's a big thumbs up. I thought he was a cocktail wizard. Well, you thought wrong. Am I the only one? And another thing, there should be 13 months in a year, each with 28 days and one spare party day. 